Right now we got about 4,500 gallons per minute coming out. Uh, looks like we're actually starting to shut down now. So we're reaching the end of the 40,000 gallon tank. That 40,000 gallons is behind this wall. Now 40,000 gallons you might go through with your family in about a half a year, but this system can pump that in just 10 minutes. And uh, what they're trying to do is do a flush of the reservoir tanks and do an operational check of the system to ensure everything in this hangar is operating properly in case we do have a fire or an excessive fuel spill. 40,000 gallons of water would be a lot of money if it came from your tap. But the Air Force isn't just flushing this water down the drain. They're pouring it down this one. These drains lead to an oil water separation system and then is recycled back into the sewage system, wasting the minimal amount of water. It's a lot more complicated than when we turn our faucets on. This hangar is the only one in the military that can service C5s and C17 fuel tank operations in Europe. So to do these tests and close it down for two days has a big impact on the mission. But it's worth it to save every drop. Senior Airman Nicholas Crisp, Ramstein Air Base, Germany.